One thing I don't like about what goalkeepers do is they always carve a line down the middle of their six yard box to gain an unfair advantage so as they know where the centre of the goal is. So Timothy Flowers, I have no sympathy for you. It's his fault to the extent that he's made markings through the centre of the penalty area. The pitch isn't in a very good state, but he wants to get his positioning right and he's made markings for his own bearings. And off one of those markings, the shot from Stan Collymore, which had nothing on it and which was a simple stop for him, kicks up and flies like a leg break past a hopeless batsman um, and into the net. Collymore. In complete disgust with himself at the shot. How did it go in? He's wondering. So too is Tim Flowers. I have to say I was absolutely delighted that this goal went in because I'm sick of seeing goalkeepers. If you look down the middle of the pitch, there's a massive marking. That's Tim Flowers, as goalkeepers do, making a big trench in the pitch to get their angles right when people are shooting. So for once, it's actually worked dead against him because as Stan's hit the shot, it's hit his marking, bobbled over his shoulder and into his net. So well played, Stan Collingham. There'll be plenty who say justice for goalkeepers. Don't dig lumps in your penalty area to mark the halfway point of the goal. But uh, it's the sort of thing we see few and far between. And we don't even see it in January and February anymore. The pitches are too good. Groundsmen everywhere, come on. Just put a few in, leave a spade in. Leave your pen in, anything, just something to make the ball take a deflection. If Stan Collymore could be Shane Warne and make the ball turn off a length, so can anybody. And Stan Collymore gets surely the strangest goal of his life. <laughs>